in this war which you're not allowed to call a war. Do you think there is a point at which ordinary Russians will protest all of this and, and take matters into their own hands? You know, it's a very hard question. Everyone is asking this question. But uh, first of all, I think that it's impossible now to predict things. For example, two, two weeks ago, I was working in Moscow with all of my colleagues, and I was completely sure that war was not going to happen. And, but then situations situation changed critically, and uh, the war, uh, all these deaths, all these terrible shellings, all these refugees, all the sanctions, etc., etc. So this situation is so unpredictable that it's it's just hard hard to imagine what will happen tomorrow. But there is a huge problem that. I think we've never understood how strong Russian propaganda was. For example, there was a story now, I read it somewhere on a website, that a guy who was in Ukraine in one of the cities which uh, was bombed by Russian Russian army, he called his relative somewhere in Russia and he told me, and he told him, I am being bombed and this relative told him, no, this could not be true. I think you are a victim of Ukrainian propaganda. Which means that all these years of Russian propaganda, now it shows its result. A lot of people, even when they see pictures of the main square of town Kharkiv, one of the largest cities in, in, in Ukraine, being bombed by Russian artillery, a lot of people think that these videos or photos are fake, that these videos and photos are